Hey there, it's me again. Now today we're going to be talking about The Witcher. Um, not the books of the video game, but the TV series that Netflix put out recently. So, sit back and listen up. Welcome to the queue with Brian D. Anderson. Now, I very much enjoyed the Witcher series. I was excited to hear it was coming on. And, you know, though it was touted as a new Game of Thrones, I seriously doubted that. Still, I was pleased. But that's not to say it didn't have some flaws. We're going to point some of those out first, and then we're going to finish on a positive note. Now, some of the modern vernacular I found jarring. Um, when it was combined with fantasy speak. And sometimes it was done okay, sometimes it was done sorta of poorly. Um, I, I, it was enough to where I didn't notice it. You know, it's like, you know, it didn't just slip through there without, you know, me realizing that it happened. And it was peppered throughout the entire series with little modern colloquialisms and turns of phrase that made me think of 21st century America rather than the world of the Witcher. So there was that. There was a couple of the characters that I felt could have been done better. Um, a good example of that was Dandelion, the Bard. Um, Jaskier, I think his name was. <sighs> I mean, it, it reminded me so much of the Bard from uh, the movie Dragonheart. You know, he was goofy. Geralt smacked him around a lot. He had the, you know, silly um, Bard compared to the stoic hero. And how many times have we seen that? And, I mean, the guy did a great job with the character. It's not that I disliked the character. It's just I felt that it could have been done better. And then there was the elves. Uh, like, the, the elf king, that whole scene felt to me as if uh, anybody, could have, anybody could have written it. I mean, you knew he wasn't going to slash Geralt's throat. And the way they uh, depicted the Sylvan was seemed a little scattered to me. I wish they would actually fleshed out the elves a little more. I mean, you get a f maybe they'll do that in later seasons. I don't know. I hope they do. Um, but the elves just you, you never got a real sense of the the actual conflict between the humans and the elves, um, other than humans bad elves betrayed and so um, which that falls into a pretty typical category too um, so I didn't really like that dynamic which actually reminds me in that scene I did notice something that when he when he gets hit in that when Grog gets hit in the head by the by the by the sling from the Sylvan character um, Dandelion picks it up and says it looks like a little cannonball and I'm like I uh, Never remember seeing a cannon. So how would you know what a cannonball was? I mean, maybe they'll introduce cannons later in the in, in later seasons. Maybe in the books there were cannons. I don't know. But you know, I didn't see any cannons. So how would you know what a cannonball was? And then I think the biggest letdown, as far as characters, was. Um, the dryads. Um, there was just no explanation for the dryads. It, it seemed to me like that entire scene, that entire sequence had zero point to it. The dialogue was stilted. Who are you, child? And I'm like, oh, good Lord. I was, I was, that was one of the few times that I actually rolled my eyes. And I mean, even the tree asked, who are you, child? And, you know, it never, why was she able to walk across the field, you know, um, and the little elf boy gets shot up with arrows? I mean, was the tree protecting her? Um, 
you just it just never really fleshes it out then you have a our dryads all women um, that seemed like there was just an unexplored territory they, I mean they looked all female but it's a fantasy world so I mean it could be like you know the way dwarves were suggested to be in Lord of the Rings how they all wore beards you know you know so you couldn't really tell men from the women was that the how dryads are they all appear female or are they all are they actual spirits are they what are they that that none of that made any sense that whole sequence didn't seem to have a point and then the wizard comes up and just goes the spirits off with her and, and he's able to approach without getting shot up with arrows too um <laughs> and because he which i guess if he was an actual wizard you know a little bit of spoilers here so be careful if he were an actual wizard, you know, I could see Amy hey, could deflect the arrows, you know, because of magic. But um, he wasn't. So um, how did he approach? And it was just, you know, that whole sequence bothered me a lot. And there was some, you know, so I, I, I thought they could either have done that better or just done without it. Now, I would like to see them flesh out the dryads. I thought it would had potential when I first saw them introduced. I was, I was like, oh, cool. You know, it took me a minute to figure out what they were because um, it didn't really give you much of an explanation. Uh, the learning curve is pretty steep, and in a lot of in a lot of ways, it's pretty steep. But I, I, I didn't mind that so much. But you know, it's like a lot of build up with no payoff. So the way they wrote Geralt. The way they wrote Yennefer, um, uh, you know, just the entire way the story was put together was was to me just fun. Every most of it was just so much fun. Like I said, well, the the flaws that I mentioned were were not enough for me to not want to keep going, and and I'm very excited to see the new seasons. Um, I'm sure the books are better, aren't they always? And but you know, I don't know about the video games. It's not my type of game. I'm more of a Final Fantasy Tales of type of guy. You know, Dragon Age, and you know, maybe I would enjoy The Witcher. I, I don't know. But overall, it was a fantastic story. I love the way they handled the time jumps. Um, I think some people might have had a hard time with that. I didn't. I actually understood what they were doing and thought it was I thought it was well put together the acting even the child acting which you know sometimes tends to be lacking the children who um, they, they played their roles excellently I, overall I said it was it, it was a fantastic fantasy series I think series uh, season two should outshine season one because they have laid a good foundation and I mean overall I have a I'd give it mm, I'd say seven and a half out of ten and if it hadn't have been for the dryad sequence I would have probably gave it another full star to eight and a half but the dryad sequence that's enough to slash a star out of there hey, tell me if you agree Tell me if you think I'm an idiot, which you wouldn't be the first to tell me that. Anyway, those are my thoughts on The Witcher. So, with that in mind, be safe, stay indoors, do social distancing, and we'll see you again really soon, right here on the queue.